let's take a look at the power rule. The power rule is the rule to find the derivative of the power function. The basic function is in the form of f of x equals x to the power r. It's in the form of, of any real number, either negative, positive, or zero real number. So the derivative is in the form of a prime of x equals r multiplied by x to the power r minus 1. Power rule for the general case, the case is the power function in the form of the constant multiple c times x to the power r. The derivative is the constant c multiplied by r times x to the power r minus 1, which is the same as the derivative of the basic power function form. For the special case, we recognize this as the slope intercept form of the equation of the line y equals mx plus b. And we can tell that the m is a slope. We call the derivative is a slope of the tangent line. Therefore, the y prime or the derivative is m, which is the slope for the equation of the line. The case of f of x equals c or the constant function, the constant function, the graph is in the form of the horizontal line. For the horizontal line, the slope is zero. We can say that the derivative of the function f at x going to be zero or the slope is zero. For the function f of x equals x, which is the lie y equals x, the slope is one. We can say f prime of x or the derivative of the function f of x equals one. I should say m, m. We are going to use the various rules of differentiation to find the derivative for each of the function. Part A, function f of x equals negative three. This is a constant function. The constant function, if you think about the line that represent this function, it is the horizontal line. The horizontal line, the slope is zero. Therefore, the derivative f of x equals zero. The next one in part B, f of x equals six times x. This is the equation of the line. And you can think about y equals mx plus b, which we notice that m, which is the coefficient of x, is the slope. In this case, the m is 6. Therefore, the f prime of the x equals 6. Next one, in part c, the function is 1 over 4 times x to the power 2 thirds is in the form of c multiplied by x to the power r. In this case, c is 1 over 4, and r, which is the power of the x, is 2 over 3. Use the general power rule. The f prime of x equals the c times r times x to the power r minus 1, or 1 over 4 times r, which is 2 over 3, times x to the power 2 over 3 minus 1. Simplify the numbers as 2 and 4 reduce. And the simplified form of 2 thirds minus 1 is negative 1 third. Therefore, the derivative of this function is 1 over 6 times x to the power negative 1 third. In part D, we have y equals 1 over 4 x squared quantity as a denominator. So we're going to rewrite it as the form of c times x to the power r. In this case, 1 over 4 times x squared, we can rewrite it as 1 over 4 times 1 over x squared. As we see the coefficient 1 over 4, we have to rewrite the 1 over x squared as x to the power negative 2. In this case, 
we can see that the C is 1 over 4 and the I is negative 2. So put a note on the side here. C is 1 over 4. I is negative 2. Next, we're going to find the derivative using the general power rule. So the y prime or the derivative is the c times i times x to the i minus 1. The c is 1 over 4. The i is negative 2 times x to the power i minus 1. Then simplify to be a negative 1 over 2 from these two numbers and then the power becomes negative 3. That means we have negative 1 half times x to the power negative third as the derivative of this function in part d. For example e, Recall the cube root is the power 1 over 3. And then we're going to rewrite it as the general power form, which means we're going to rewrite the, this reciprocal function as x to the power negative 1 over 3. In this case, we have no coefficient, or c is 1, or just the basic power function, where r equals negative 1 over 3. Then when we find the derivative, we use the power rule. It becomes r times x to the power r minus 1, or negative 1 over 3 times x to the power 1 over 3 minus 1. Simplify one more time to get negative 1 third times x to the power negative 4 over 3.